Hi, welcome to Pixelpia. Today, I will start a new series about the very basics, and we start with Google and a Google account. I will show you how to create an account, how to delete an account, how to set up the basic security, and how to change your password. So without any delay, let's take a look at my computer. So the first step is to create your account. I already had a couple of accounts, but we go to account.google.com. And here it asked me to sign in, but since you are going to create the account, it probably look like this. So we're going to fill out the information here. I'm just putting in my first name. You have to disclose your birthday. And that is because you have to be 13 years of age to have your own account on Google. So here they suggest a couple of addresses if you want to use Gmail and then you can create your own. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to create an account for my podcast, The Geeky Boomer. As you see down here, you can also use an existing email if you don't want a Gmail address. We click next and we set up a password and we have to repeat it twice. And then we click next. Then you need to add a phone number where they can send a verification number. They will send you a text to verify that this is you. And now I'm just waiting. Here comes my text. And I put the number in. Now they want you to add a recovery email address and this is important because if you should lose your password and aren't able to log in any longer you have an alternative email address where they can reach you let's put in my main gmail address and then again your phone number for the security and now they ask you if you want to use your phone number to receive video calls and messages and if you want to use it to get Google services including ads more relevant to you. I'm going to skip all that for now. And here we have my account. My name is Pia and it's the geeky boomer at gmail.com and my phone number and we click next. Then we come to the terms of service. This is really important that you read through. Since I already have several Google accounts, I have read this before. But it's important that you know how they combine data and so forth. And down here you have some more options to see if you want them to save your activity and things like that. It's pretty self-explanatory when you have read it through you just click i agree so here i am at my google accounts home page and as you see up here i have the little p this is the home and what you can see here is manage date and privacy review security tips and so forth on the left we have personal information and here you can add a photo you have the contact information and if you go to about me you can choose who can see your information so only you means the little padlock you can add a nickname some of these you can make private I wanted to talk to you about basic security We'll go over more in detail next time. But when you first set up your account, it's important to go through her recent security activity. You have added a recovery email and a recovery phone. Down here, 
how you sign in to Google. I would prefer for everybody to use at least two-step verification. And in my next episode, I will show you how to set it up. But for today, we have the password here. And if I need to change that, I go in, click on password, and then I can set a new password here. Recovery phone, if you have that set, and recovery email, it says verify. If I click on that, I have my recovery email, and I click next. It says that I should have a verification code. And if I go to my recovery email that I set, I will have an email with a short little code, and I need to verify that here. I'm not going to do that right now since I am logged into this account. But those are steps you need to take the very first time. When it comes to data and privacy, you can go in and see information of what you have done since you created this account. And here you will also have suggestions for security. There is one thing that people usually have a hard time finding, and that is where do I delete my account? I go in under data and privacy and scroll down all the way to the bottom here where we have more options. Delete your Google account. I click there. And it says you can download your data before deleting your account. And then it explains here that you will lose all of the information and access to everything you have, including the Gmail account, everything you have used on any of Google's products. So if I have docs, if I had used Gmail, if I have websites built in Google sites, everything will be deleted. But if you are sure, and in this case, I have just created accounts, so I have not used anything. I will mark this and say, yes, I acknowledge that I am still responsible for any charges incurred due to any pending financial transaction. And I understand that under certain circumstances, my earning won't be paid out. Yes, I want to permanently delete this Google account. Your Google account and all its data has been deleted. If you accidentally deleted your Google account, you have a short amount of time to try to recover it. And let's try to do that so we can continue working with this account. Okay, I managed to undelete it. But as you saw, if you have an account you want to delete, it's in your Google account, under data and privacy, and under more options at the bottom here. This was the very basics of how to create a Google account. In my next tutorial, I will talk about two-factor authentication and the new option to use a security key. I will also talk about how you can manage multiple accounts on one computer. Like I have several accounts and I can easily switch between them on my computer. So we will go over how to handle multiple accounts. And we will go over a little bit more of the settings here in your Google account. What we didn't look at all today was payment and subscriptions and sharing your account. And then I will show you an alternative if you want a family account where maybe your kids can have their own profiles. So if that is something you want to learn more about, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified on when I upload. Until next time, bye.